Hello, this is Jan from Red Toad Art Studio, and today we are going to learn how to draw a guitar. So let's get started. You will need a piece of paper. If you're just making a drawing out of this, any kind of paper will do. You can use sketch paper, copy paper, hey, mixed media paper, watercolor paper, whatever you'd like. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler to draw the guitar strings with. I think the guitar strings are just the hardest part of this, even though guitar strings are just straight lines. So let's get started. You can also download your free instruction sheets. They are online at our redtoadartstudio.com. In fact, there's three sheets this time of instructions on how to draw your guitar that you can keep in your files. And these instructions are free to download and print. So, let's start with the first step. In fact, I'm going to kind of turn my paper longwise because I'm sure you've noticed guitars are long lengthwise. So, step one has us drawing a circle. Now, the circle of our guitar is that bottom roundest point of a guitar. So we need to leave plenty of room for the rest of the body of the guitar and the fretboard part or the strings. So, I am going to make a circle ooh, about this big. Now, if you want to use a jar lid or something to help you draw your circle, you can do that or a compass. But we're just having fun sketching our guitar today. All right, now, oh, towards the center of this circle, and this is something I didn't point out our, on our instruction sheet, but if you could put a little dot there, just approximately the center, it will help you out with this next step. Now, we want to start here and draw another circle. Now, it needs to be just a little bit smaller. Another circle right here, and that finishes out the body of our guitar. Now this might be a little more oval, but that's all right. See now that is already starting to look like a guitar. Now this doesn't matter. We will erase this part later on anyway, just so this part looks nice and circular. Next step, we're going to draw a line straight up through the middle of these circles. And now Take your fingers, we're going to do a rough measurement here. Put your thumb on the bottom and your thumb on the top. Come up to this middle part of your second circle like that and draw that line that long. So see, it, it is like this. Move up and draw the line about that long. Now all guitars are a little bit different. Guitars, oh there's hundreds of shapes for your guitars. There's hundreds of colors I imagine. Some have four strings, some have six strings, some can have 12 strings. And so really what guitar you are drawing matters. So just take a look at it, see how many strings and what color it is if you want to color it. But we are just going to draw a general guitar today to teach you the basic steps of drawing that guitar. So that was step number three. Now step number four, we are going to add a hole right here. This is where the sound comes out of your guitar. And you know there are names for all these things but we're not going to worry about what the correct names are mostly. I did play the guitar for a while, but back in my 
learning days. I learned all the parts. I'm not sure that I remember them all correctly anymore. <laughs> so, this is a hole that when you have a guitar, you look down into it and you can see inside your guitar. Okay. Now we need to make, I think, what we call the fretboard, but where the strings go. So we are going to... We're going to start here at this hole on either side and we're going to widen that fretboard out. We are going to try to make room to put strings just like that. Now I may be going in a little different order than what the instruction sheet has, but we eventually basically do all these things. This next thing we had was to do a little bit of erasing. Erasing is always important. Get some of these extra lines out of the way. We're going to erase the bottom half of this circle here and the top half of that circle there. When you erase, if you have a little small paintbrush to flick away your eraser crumbs, I really like using one of those. Okay, oh, I see another line. Let's see when we do this. We're on page two already. We need to erase here. It looks so much better all cleaned up here. Now we're going to add a rectangular shape right up here. This is where the tuning keys go and where the strings hook in. And make it a little longer. You can make this whatever size you want. And you can make your guitar however you want to make it. It's your drawing. Okay. Now, let's see. We are adding... Have you ever noticed how they have a really cute, colorful thing down on this, right under your hand where you're picking or playing? And it goes right in here. Now, not all guitars have that. Some do, and I think it makes a nice little colorful splash here if you can put one in. So, you're going to come about halfway down this circle. Draw a line. Oh, a little ways away and go clear down to oh about here not all the way to the center because then it would be under our strings going to come down like this and this was to come up about halfway and then come around now different manufacturers make this in different ways and different shapes you can add some little cute squiggles to this if you want it's your guitar Alrighty, you know, let me round that out a little more. I have an eraser, so that can be fixed. And then, beyond this, so you want to be sure and leave some room here, draw a straight line across. This is where the strings are going to come hook into. Underneath that, a little shorter line. See how that goes? And then... A little bit of straight lines on the end but you're going to do a curve in now you don't have to do that curve unless you want to but it gives it a little fancy look so that takes us to step eight of our guitar let's see what do we need to do next oh we're going to fix this a little fancier let's come up here and put a curved top on it you could also do a fancier top there if you like Here's a curved top, but what if you wanted a fancier one? You could come and put a little fancy end on it if you wanted to, just like that. You can do that top however you want. Look at that. Now, we're going to erase this line. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and erase our fancy top here because our instructions just show us with a rounded top. So Let's erase this line. Okay, now down here where it comes to the neck, oh, the neck of the guitar, there's the name. We're just going to kind of slide that in there. 
and draw a line across down here. And then we're going to erase this part. Now, this is a little different order than what it's in the instructions, but the instructions will show you too. Now, I'm drawing a six string guitar here. Six strings on this guitar, and if your picture's small, it's really hard to fit those strings in there. And if you want, you can put four strings on. Hey, this is your guitar. Do this however you want to. All right, we're going to put three circles down each side. Do you see that? This is where the wires come and go through from the side. They go through here, then they come down and across. So for six strings, we need three of those on each side. Okay, got that. Now here to this side, make a little, it's a little pin that sticks in there. Can you see these all right? So we're going to put one here on the sides for each of these six little string thingies. <laughs> now these are usually shaped a little different. This is where you grab onto them with your fingers and you turn it to tighten up your string. So I'm just doing something like this. See that there? Just like a triangle. A small triangle, but a triangle is about the easiest way to draw these. Sometimes they're more rounded. So we draw all six of those. This looks like a guitar already, doesn't it? There we go. Now yeah, let's see. Oh, a lot of them also will have a, a little design here in the end or the brand name written there. So you can put anything you want there as a design. Now, we need to think about strings. This is the part I don't like to do. <laughs> what we need to do, we need to go ahead and get rid of this middle line here. Okay, so we need to put six strings in there. And they'll come across there, and they'll come clear down to here. And they will come from this area here. So we need to go back up here and let's add another little line under this. I know there's a name for this, but the strings are wound here. And then they come down across here. So let's get, let's see what our next step is here. Ah, yeah, adding strings. As I said to me, this is the hardest part. We have to get six of them in here, and this is where you'll probably need your ruler when it comes to doing this part. But you can't bring them all down the same way. So what we're going to do, let me see, this is a small guitar, is bring a line from this one on the bottom left as close to that edge as we can and still get a string there. Do you see that? Tell you what, let me bring this focus in a little bit closer so you can see me doing that step. There we go. See that? Now I'm going to bring one from, it's on the inside of that circle, down just to the inside there. Now we have two of our strings started. And maybe we should just go ahead and draw those two strings and get them done. So I'm going to lay my ruler across, down that string, down the whole fretboard. Try to go as straight as you can. Might be a good time to erase any extra lines you have here in the middle. And I'm going to uh, make this side of the fretboard a little darker here so we can tell that from the strings. Now, now I'm going to draw a string clear down to here. 
And I tell you, you might have to try more than one time to get these all evenly put in. And come down to here. Alrighty, and let's get this one in. We'll, we'll clean this up a little bit. Don't feel bad if you have to try more than once and erase all those strings and try again. I might have to. And it really helps if you can have a see-through ruler. A nice flat plastic see-through ruler. Let's see where this takes us. Two strings. We've got to get four strings in this little area here. So I'm going to mark, let's see, right there. Right there. This to me is really the hard part, getting all the strings in. Now, this one up here needs to come down right next to this one. And this one comes right down next to this one, just like that. And then we draw our lines down again. And I have a feeling my strings aren't going to look the greatest. But you know what? Sometimes we have to work with things to get them to look good like we want them to. At least I do. Come right here. Down we go. We've got four strings and we need to get these last two in there. Now, right here, I accidentally kind of drew a double line. When we ink that, that can go away. Now, we need to get two here, so take this top one and come right down there, and this one, and right down there. See how that looks? Now, we're going to try our very best to get two more lines in here which I find challenging. This one may not be as evenly spaced as I wanted it. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's going to be close enough. As you understand now, while this is the biggest challenge is getting these strings in, and a lot depends on the size of picture you're drawing. Now, this is a whole sheet of big paper, and it was hard for me to get that. So it could be you won't want to put as many strings on your guitar. It would be really easy to put four strings and then just have four of these and come down. But again, if you want a very um, real looking guitar that has six strings, you may have to make your picture a little larger so you have room for that. Because this isn't the only thing that fits on the neck of the guitar. We have these frets now that go across. Now, a real guitar, I counted one the other day that had 20-some frets. I'm not going to put all that on my picture. I'm going to just put, <laughs> in all honesty, what will fit here, just and make my picture look right. So frets will come across. It's a space in here. So there's fret lines, and so just... Draw lines across like that. Let's see what we get. And they get closer and closer together as you get down towards that hole. We might get several here. I think I made my guitar just a little bit short. It may look a little more like a what um, some of the other string instruments. Look at that. Now I have how many do I have? One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See, now most guitars would have twice that many. And you can put them in if you wish. And the one other thing they have along here is they call a position holes or markers. They're little white dots. Now, again, all guitars don't have those. But they are put in between the frets. So if you can find a spot to do that on yours... Now, mine is so small, it's hard to put them in. About every other one, if I remember right, in the center of that fretboard. There we go. Hey, looking like a guitar, isn't it? Okay, now, let's finish this guitar up. Down here, where these come down... They will cross 
a little bar right here. So draw a little bar across. And again, you may not have room for all this. And at the end of each little string, put a dot. Now, see, I, in all honesty, I am not at all happy with my little mess up here. And this would have to be fixed for a finished picture. That's why I call the strings the hardest part to put in. Now I want to uh, strengthen these lines a little bit. Okay, now let's see what do we need to do yet. Ah, you could stop here if you want. Let's do this. They always have this little thing on the tip of the guitar. So when you set it down on the ground, it kind of rests on this. Or if you're going to use a uh, guitar strap, it hooks on the end of that. So we better have that little rest there. We got all the other parts we have to have. Now, what if this was tipped a little bit to the side? Let me show you what to do a little bit. Because this is an acoustic guitar, so it's a fat guitar. It's wide and deep. So from here, we're going to come out and show some of the side. And then we're going to come in and follow that shape. And now work in towards the bottom. Makes it look more guitarish, Yeah, doesn't it? And back behind here, you usually can't see much of the fretboard because that's quite thin. There is a piece of wood that comes out something like that to help strengthen that fretboard. And you know, I think that's our guitar. So what you need to do then is be sure you go over it, make all your lines nice and strong, ink it if you want. See, there's a couple lines in here. Don't belong. Now, remember though, if you want to paint this, you will need to draw this on either mixed media paper or watercolor paper. Um, with markers, you probably should still use one of those. If you want to use colored pencils though, or crayons, or pencil, just use sketching paper or copy paper, whatever you have on hand, and finish it then. And you can choose whether you want to ink it or not. To ink it, I would go over this now with my good ink pen. Then I would do a good erase over the whole page and get rid of all these little extra lines under there. Now, I just showed a little example of some things you can do with that guitar. You can make these uh, starburst designs behind it and make it look like, woohoo, this is really neat. Look at me, I'm a guitar. Or you could come out and make some strings of music. And in our next video, I'm going to show you how to make some of the music notations and make it look real instead of fake. I get very frustrated when I look at people draw they draw pictures of birds and things and then they put music outside of their little mouths. And they draw the music wrong. They draw it upside down, backwards, and all kinds of weird ways. And if you play music, that's frustrating. So we're also going to have a video coming up next on how to do that. So I think that is our guitar. I hope you have fun drawing guitars. And I'll be back with you with our musical symbol video. So I'm going to say bye-bye for now.